Hello, this is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Smartphones and Cell Phones blog. So I'm back with my Samsung uh, developer phone that I've got for a couple weeks to take a look at. We're going to do the initial walkthrough and setup because I'm curious how that is. So let's see. Push the power button see if I've got any juice in this. Okay, here we go. So here's the initial startup. This is, again, the Samsung Windows Phone 7 developer unit that I showed uh, the unboxing and walk around the hardware already. Now we're going to take a look at the initial startup of the device. There we go. Windows Phone. Nice animations there. Welcome to your Samsung Taylor Windows Phone. And I do have a T-Mobile SIM in here. And let me just check the focus. So welcome to your Samsung Taylor Windows Phone. Let's get started. There's emergency call and get it started. So let's tap get started. And you can see there's different languages there. I'm going to go ahead and select the default English United States and next. Terms of use. You could read through those, but I don't want to. Nobody ever does. And accept them. How would you like your Windows Phone configured? Recommended. So would you like your Windows Phone configured? Recommended, which enables cellular data and sends information to help improve Windows Phone. Or custom, to customize your phone settings. Hmm, tough choice. As a geek, I usually like the custom. Let's just take a peek at custom here. So custom Windows Phone settings allow cellular data usage, send information. I uncheck that. Although, I do want to help improve, so let's go ahead and check that to help improve. And then next, time zone selection. Pacific time is correct. I'll leave it there. Sign in with the Windows Live ID to get apps, play Xbox Live games, use a Zoom Pass, automatically sync Windows Live information to the web, and more, you need to sign in with the Windows Live ID. If you already have an Xbox Live, Zoom, Hotmail, or Messenger, you already have one. Now, I have a Windows Live ID that I've used for years with a Yahoo account. That doesn't work, but I already also have a palmsolo.live.com one, so I'll use that. If you don't have one, you do need to create one. You can say not now, but you won't be able to uh, get too far with the setup um, because uh, the Windows Live ID is used to automatically sync your contacts to the server, so they're always up there. Uh, it allows the pay system for apps and Zoom Pass and a bunch of other things, so you do really need a live account from what I understand. So I'm going to go ahead and say sign in. And as I said... It's simply uh, Palm Solo. Now my password, I'm going to go ahead and pause it while I enter that. Okay, I think I've entered the right one. And my Xbox Live account is actually, a, I, my daughter has one, I don't know what mine is actually. So let's just do sign in. Oh, I didn't put the, uh, the at. There we go, sign in, let's see if this works. Now you can see up top there's some animations as uh, connections are being made. There's these little little dots that go up in the corner, up in the top. I've seen them pink before. I see them blue now. That might be a custom setting. It's when uh, connections are happening or data is being uploaded or downloaded on the device. They'll do that. That's it. All done. Have fun. So I'll say done. Here we go. There's the uh, Windows sev Windows Phone 7 uh, start menu. And if we slide left from right to left, we see these are actually all of the applications that are loaded on the device. And as you can see, there's alarms, calculator, calendar, camera, games, Internet Explorer, maps, marketplace, messaging, music and videos, office, people, phone, pictures, and settings. And then on the front, we see T-Mobile, which is a phone. Got uh, my Facebook is associated. There's the people. It's syncing up now. It looks like we got messaging, email, calendar, Xbox Live, pictures. Now these are the hubs. From what I understand, there's uh, there's six hubs. There's the marketplace, music and videos, pictures, games, um, and people. One, two, three, four, five. What did I say? Oh, this office is a hub as well, which is over here, Office 2010. All right, so that's just the initial startup, much simpler than uh, I thought it would be. And uh, I'll go ahead and play around with the device some more and post more videos, specifically 
at least uh, six more of the six hubs and then uh, some other video walkthroughs of the device. Thanks for watching.